Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good day to everyone I am Rafida from University Tunggal Rahman And today I'll be presenting my research Titled Understanding the beliefs of young adults in Malaysia About electronic cigarettes I will begin my presentation with introduction According to Ramo, Young Wolf and Prashaska Electronic cigarettes are defined as battery-operated devices That produce an aerosol for inhalation Typically containing nicotine the device was invented in 2003 by a Chinese pharmacist from Beijing named Honlik and introduced as a less harmful alternative to the traditional tobacco cigarette. In 2007, e-cigarettes, also known as electronic nicotine delivery system, were launched in the United States and since then, the devices have been increasingly used by adolescents and adults, both on an experimental and regular basis. The act of using an e-cigarette is preferred to as vaping and it is inhaled in the same way as a tobacco cigarette. The difference lies in the content of the ingredient. While cigarettes produce tobacco smoke, vapes release vapor when the e-liquid is heated, which usually contains propylene glycol and or or vegetable glycerin, nicotine and flavor concentrates. Nevertheless, many manufacturers of vaping products claim that vaping is a completely safe alternative to smoking as e-cigarettes only produce vapor and e-liquids contain fewer harmful ingredients compared to tobacco cigarettes. These positive assumptions associated with e-cigarettes and vaping contributed to the popularity of the devices not only among the targeted smokers but also among the young individuals and non-smokers. According to Farrelly et al, concurrent with recent increase among adults, adolescent use of e-cigarettes has risen. The data by Adolescent Health Survey indicate that the use of e-cigarettes among teenagers aged 13 to 17 increases from 211,084 individuals in 2017 to 301,109 individuals in 2022. Furthermore, a report by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention showed that more than 1 in 10 young adults in the U.S. use e-cigarettes on a regular basis with slightly higher rates among men than women. The research objective is to determine the beliefs of Malaysian young vapors towards e-cigarettes. Understanding about e-cigarettes from the perspective of vapors who have the first-hand experience in using the devices is considered important as the findings may be a valuable resource that guides the policy formation and implementation in the country. Now I will proceed to literature review. Multiple studies on e-cigarettes were conducted including to understand about the benefits of vaping. Dockerell et al. 2013 found that more than half of the respondents, which consisted of adults from the UK, selected could help reduce cigarette consumption and they could help me quit smoking altogether as perceived benefits of e-cigarettes with 55% and 51% of respondents respectively. The finding shows that the respondents perceive e-cigarettes as workable solution for smoking reduction and cessation attempt. Another research suggests a similar result whereby the majority of respondents felt that e-cigarettes were a better way to quit smoking or at least reduce the consumption of tobacco cigarettes. Studies comparing the risk of e-cigarettes with those of tobacco cigarettes have found that respondents tend to perceive the former as a safer smoking alternative, mainly because they believe that e-cigarettes do not contain many of the harmful ingredients associated with regular tobacco. According to a survey conducted by Ipsos, 82% of Malaysian smokers consider e-cigarettes a positive alternative to traditional cigarettes. In addition, 75% of them stated that they would consider buying e-cigarettes from other channels or countries if Malaysia restrict or ban the sale of e-cigarettes. Now I'll be presenting the methodology. This study used qualitative method as its research design. Data were collected using one-to-one -one in that interview. The sampling technique is snowball sampling. Samples are among 10 papers for undergraduate students from University to Kabrang Manpera. Data was transcribed and analyzed using Atlas T version 8. Now we move on to findings and analysis. I will start with presenting the demographic of informants. Demographically speaking, this study was mostly participated by male and Chinese students. The age of the informants is from 21 to 25 years old. Out of 10 informants, 7 of them have smoking experience. 
from that figure, two have completely gave up tobacco cigarettes after they tried pot vapes, three are world users whereby they smoke and vape, and the other two experience smoking relapse. The other three informants are full-time vapers. Here is the analysis on the beliefs about e-cigarettes. The first theme is better alternative. All informants agreed with the function of e-cigarettes as a better alternative for tobacco cigarettes. Informant 8, for example, have said, Yeah, I won't only agree that it is an alternative, but I say a better alternative than tobacco cigarettes. Meanwhile, informant 10 said, Yes, because vapors are addicted to the nicotine only, not to the tobacco or something else, but they are addicted to nicotine. So we can get nicotine from e-cigarettes and we got the satisfaction. The second theme is illiquid content. The claim that e-cigarettes are better than tobacco cigarettes is made on the basis of the content or the ingredient used to make e-liquids. Most of the informants who participated in this study agreed that the ingredients used in making e-liquid is safe for people's consumption. For example, informant once said that, oh, the common ingredient is vegetable oil, what we can use to cook, so it is safe. Meanwhile, informant Ford said that I think it is the ingredient because in smoking or tobacco cigarettes, as they say, have nicotine and tar, right? So we will keep on smoking it. I think vaping better than smoking. Lastly, informant 6 said that the only thing that is to be discussed as harmful in this vape thing is the nicotine, nothing else. Like other than that, VG and PG is used to make bread or something like that. The next theme is harm reduction. For informants with smoking experience, their views are drawn based on the comparison they made after they tried e-cigarettes. Informant 7, for example, have explained in lengthy about his experience after he used e-cigarettes or pot vapes. He said, yeah, when I use cigarette, you have this film coming out. When you cough, it comes out with film. But nano stick also has that, but it is not as bad as cigarette. Like if cigarette, when you smoke too many, every time you cough, you have love. But this is not like that. Sometimes it's just because you like smoke, you smoke too much, and then you got this because your throat, your throat gets dry and you cough. Then you have to drink water. But cigarette is not like that. Cigarette, if you tend to smoke a lot, you cough with love. And my dry, dry cough has decreased. You know, if you smoke too much cigarette, you cough a lot. But nano stick, no. Nano stick, there's no this kind of dry cough so far. The fourth theme is secondhand vapor. Basically, all informants agree that e cigarette vaping does not produce secondhand vapor. Informant 4, for example, have said that I don't think so because the smoke that comes out from vape is not the same as cigarettes because I don't know why, but I don't think it will affect other people's health. Informant 1 said, no, 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 I think no secondhand vapor because the ingredients is different with cigarette. And Informant 9 said, I think it's more healthier for me and for the people around me as well because as we know, smoking has secondhand smoker. The fifth theme is addiction. All informants perceive e-cigarettes as different from tobacco cigarettes and does not cause addiction. Informant 2 have said, won't get addicted. With e-cigarettes, people won't get addicted, not like normal cigarette. Informant 6 have said that, no, I am not addicted. If you say you can get addicted with vaping, it's all false. It's a false claiming because me personally, I am a strong vapor. But when I go back to hometown, I can be off vaping like 2 weeks to 3 weeks. The sixth thing is satisfaction. For informants with smoking experience, they tend to compare the satisfaction they feel between smoking and vaping. They also use several terms to describe the feeling of satisfaction such as throat heat, aftertaste, lung heat, brain freeze, kick, tight pull, and sensation. Informant 8 for example have said, but one thing for sure is that you don't feel that because it gives you a brain freeze kind of thingy. So I would say that e-cigarette gives you more brain freeze compared to cigarette. Informant 3 have said that for cigarette, I think for me the only difference would be when drinking because I will smoke the most when I am drinking and I have done both. I find it nicer to drink and smoke. I think because it is in your head already because when I drink and vape, I don't feel the kick. I feel like it's cool and all but not what I need. The last part of the presentation is discussion and conclusion. 
Based on the findings, it can be concluded that the young adults who participated in this study tend to hold positive views about e-cigarettes. It is understandable since all of them are vapors and their views are more likely to be the result of their experiences in using and operating the devices. Regardless of their smoking experience, every informant shared the same belief about e-cigarettes being a better alternative for tobacco cigarettes. In their opinion, vaping is safe for themselves as users and for other people around them. For informants who started with smoking, they noticed some improvement in their health such as reduced dry cough after they tried vaping. Furthermore, all informants believe that e-cigarettes are not addictive like tobacco cigarettes. This belief is strongly supported by their own experiences, whereby they had to skip using e-cigarettes for certain days, for example, when they were at hometown during semester break. In terms of satisfaction, informants with smoking experience tend to compare the difference in the satisfaction they get from smoking and vaping. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening and thank you for paying attention. Assalamualaikum and goodbye.